Hey, what's up, guys? It's, uh, it's been quite a while, like a month or so, but I actually really missed making videos and because I really enjoy making videos for you guys. So I'm going to try to upload more often now. So, yay. But uh, today I'm going to do a story time video. Yay. I haven't done one of those in quite a, quite a while. So today's story is about one of the times I got the cough scout on me. One day during freshman year, it started off as a regular day. I went to school. I went through classes. I got home. And I was about to make a video when a friend wanted me to come over. I'm going to call him Dave. So Dave and I were just playing video games at his house when another friend, I'll call him Greg, wanted us to go walk around the neighborhood. So we did and met up with another friend, we'll call him Billy. So we walk around and got the idea to ding dong ditch people. So we ding dong ditched a few friends, they caught us. We laughed it off. We walked a bit longer, then Greg comes up with a genius idea to ding dong ditch this old and grumpy guy in the neighborhood. He said he would pay us $20 if we did it. Dave would hide in the bushes and I would be the one to ring the doorbell. We set up a camera and slash Dave's phone up on my jacket to keep it up. Keep in mind, the door was wide open, but the screen door was closed. So Dave was in the bushes. I was walking up and his dog out of nowhere parks his fucking head off. It was a pit bull or something, so the spark was deep and it was loud. But I was just standing there like a dumbass and got up and ran to Billy's house. Not inside, just to the front door. Then we went to the woods. If I can get a picture, I'll show it up here. Dave and I were just hiding behind two trees. Then, when we thought it was safe, we started to go back across the street to this guy. Trying to say discreet, but when we were across the street from him, he came out of his house on his phone. And word for word, this is what he said to us. Get your asses over here. I'm on the phone with the police. So we started to walk over there, but then Dave makes a run for it across to the woods. So I followed. He yelled at us. I forgot what he said. We ran into a creek that's in the woods. It's not a small creek. Pretty big. About 12 feet deep. Uh, water on the, on the bottom, and it's like a cliff to get down to it. But when we got down, and this creek is about 15 feet or so across, so we took our shoes off to walk through it. We walked down the river quite a bit until we thought we were safe. But then we got back up on the other side of the creek. We found a log to sit on and waited there for a while. Then Greg calls Dave and tells him that the cops were checking the surveillance footage and looking for us. That they checked Billy's house and asked him about who we were and they said they didn't know who we were. They went to Greg's house and questioned his mom about where Greg was and she said at a friend's house. So we assumed it was safe to go out and get back to Dave's house. His house was at the end of Greg Street and Greg Street was next to the old guy's house. So it was Greg Street, then the old Greg Street at the end of the neighborhood. So we tried going down Greg Street but there were two cop cars outside of Greg's house. So we risked going down the old guy's street. Thank God he wasn't outside of his house <laughs> or we would have been screwed. So we went down the old guy's Guy Street made it safety to Dave's house, and nothing happened. Yeah, that's just a pretty crazy story, guys. Hope you, hope you enjoyed a uh, kind of a weird video on the channel. Haven't really done a story time in a while. Well, I haven't, haven't really done a video in a while, but uh, so it's new, I guess. But I hope you liked the video, and I'm up here at 11.20 at night, and I'm pretty damn tired. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Love you. I'm up at 4 in the morning editing this video. Just wanted to say.